Well, I studied at the University of Vienna, and the only reason I got to Vienna was I was working in Tehran at the time, and I was working with Bell Helicopter Textron, and uh, I had been teaching college at Tampa College, and one of my students says, boy, I worked overseas with a lot of companies, and I had fun, and I thought, well, I'm, I haven't even been out of the country. How did you do it? And he says, well, you just apply to one of these companies. I said, I don't know anything about that. He said, well, you got a degree in business. You're a professor of business, and he said, why don't you write to this company? So I wrote a letter to Bell Helicopter Textron, and Bell wrote me back and said, we'd love to have you as a management instructor, because I'd written a few manuals and stuff like that. So anyway, they took me to Tehran, and from Tehran, it was very high stress. So in about eight months later, a guy named uh, James Bond, of all things, and James Bond running a tour, and he said, well, you can go to Vienna. So he took us to Vienna, and I just fell in love with it. And Vienna is a city of art, uh, Klimt, K-L-I-M-T, Klimt did a thing called the Kiss, which is two people embracing with gold uh, foil and things on a beautiful picture. So uh, Vienna, they say the Germans, Arbeit, Arbeit, work too hard. And Germany's a beautiful country, but they work and work and work. And they have a lot of art and beautiful music. It's all precision. And in Vienna, it's all beauty. And so I studied art there, I studied music, I studied physics, I studied all kind of stuff. And it's just kind of the city of music. And art is just a self-expression. Like if I say, okay, here's a piece of art, and I lay those sunglasses down, that, that is a piece of art there. And you say, well, they're just sunglasses laying on the table. That's my expression of something. That's my expression of, of, uh, of, 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 of seeing something or having shades on or taking off shades. So everything's art. Art is whatever your expression is. And I learned a lot about art in Vienna. And that's how I made it to Vienna because I took that job in Tehran. And the reason I took the job in Tehran is that they said, you want to go? And I thought, I'll just show up. And I showed up at the airport and 18 hours later, I ended up in Tehran. And then this guy says, you want to go to Vienna? So a bunch of us went to Vienna and ended up studying there. So that's the way it is. It just, it, it gets back to showing up and uh, doing whatever you want to do. And so that's art. And art is anything you basically label it as. There's a bottle laying on that chair that I had some Gatorade today. So the bottle's laying there and the bottle is, is could be art. You say, well, the, so an artist could say, well, there's a pattern on that, there's a, pa there's a line pattern on the chair, and there's, there's a cable going across that. So everything becomes an artistic, uh, artistic motion. And then the artist makes an artist statement. I study a lot of art in Vienna. So that's what I do. I just show up. Somebody asks me to do something, whether it's gifted education, whether it's this interview, whatever. I just show up and I just do whatever I want. So that it, the universe conspires to give you exactly what you want. If you want negative, if you want positive, if you want beautiful people in your life, if you want music. We went to a festival at Van Wezel the other day. There were a lot of beautiful people honoring Sarasota artists. Well, they chose to do that. I chose to show up. And so you say, well, I'd like to honor artists. So it shows up. Whatever you think in your head happens. That's the whole point of quantum mechanics. It's a matter of you showing up and doing, just doing whatever you want to do.